Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unicor Game Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the Monday painting video. What is the Monday painting video? What's it all about? Well, the Monday painting video is basically a painting video, but the model on models in question are voted on by you guys, my viewers, from last week's Weekly Wednesday, which is a weekly Q&A. In that video, I show you a host of models and you guys vote on what you want me to paint for Monday's painting video. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel the love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. This week's winner with two votes is this Space Marine Captain with the Heavy Bolt Rifle. It's a fantastic sculpt. Right, so I'm going to run you from my wet palette. There's one colour I missed off there, but I'm going to put that on afterwards. So I had some Lead Dodger, some Recipe Rama, Corn Red and White Scars, which is, uh, sorry, Corn Red and Screaming Skull, which is my tough colours, some Youth and Grey, and some Rhino Tide. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with some Youth and Grey, and I'm going to start with this cloak. I'm not going to contrast paint it. I want to, I thought, looked at this model and I said to myself, I want to stay away from um, contrast painting his cloak and all that business. And what I'm going to do is come in and do the armor panels as well on this side to give me a very light, nice base to put the um, screaming skull onto. So you don't need to see me doing that on camera. I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of that. Right, so now I'm going to come in with some corn red and start doing the other chaps colours for the other side. And I'm not going to show you all of this on camera, I'm going to show you a little bit. And I'm going to go off camera and do the rest. Right, next I've added some of this to the wet palette. And I'm going to come in. I'm going to come across the cloak, just give it a wash down across the cloak. Over this um, youth and grey, it's a very faint purpley colour. As you would have seen, that was the airbrush paint I'm, I've put on the wet palette. So it's already really watered down. So it's more like a wash when you're applying it like this. But it's nice. You can see, it looks really nice on there. Flavors faint purple. Now I'm going to come in with the first coat of Screaming Skull. I'm going to pick out all of his armour pieces. I want to do my chapter colours with. It's a long and tedious process, so I'll just do it off camera. This is the first coat on. There's a few little bits I'm not happy with, just down in the leg here. Just the back of the leg, it's not happy, but it's only the first coat, so that's good enough. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with Retribute Armour. Right off in the camera, and I'm going to pick out all the bits that I want to paint into your armor. So nice little signal so bit on his leg here. So I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of that. I also had two good opportunities to give him a, a thin second coat of the um, screaming skull. The cloak looks amazing. Now I'm going to come in with Lead Belcher. As you do realise, he has a purity seal on his gun there, but the seal's wrapped around the gun, so I don't know why, but I'm going to come in with Lead Belcher, and I'm going to pick out everything that I want to do silver, which is pretty much is going to be the gun painted silver. Okay. The hilt of the sword. Any other little bits, like the little bit in there. These little... Um, the rivets for his armor arm piece, just like this, and I come back when I've done that. 
Right, so the next thing I do is take some Rhinox hide and paint the leather. He has a strap here, so I'm going to paint that. There's a little pouch hanging off the back of him here, and a little pouch here. So I'm going to paint those bits and come back to you. Right, so for all intensive purposes, this guy is battle ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him beyond battle ready standard. So for everyone that's new to the hobby or just new to the channel, what that means is I'm going to, I can do dry brushing, I can do washing, I can do edge highlighting, dry paint, you know, wet blending, a combination of all these sort of things. But what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some moot green on my wet palette. I'm going to come in with that moot green. Now I did paint the eyes silver. And I'm going to come in and try and just get in there. It doesn't matter if I overshoot it a little bit. Because I give it like a little glow effect around the eye. Yes, just a little bit. Uh, a bit too much but it's not a problem because I can come back in afterwards and just touch the red up a little bit the next thing I'm going to do I got some white scars on the wet palette and I'm going to get the white scars I brush onto a bit of tissue And I come in and I'm going to give all these ridges a little dry brush. Now white skies is a low pain, so it will go on bright but dull itself down. giving this little dry brush along the edge here just to really pick that out too much there I think but it doesn't matter because it will dull itself down Looks really good. <laughs> I really like that. It's nice. Let's clean that off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some Where's Dacker Red, which again is another layer of paint. And I'm going to just highlight all of these corn red pieces. Now when you see this first of all, you go, what the hell, you've just ruined it. No, no, because the Aztec Red will dull itself right down. do the rest right so you can see the corn the uh most of red looks absolutely amazing on there and i was able to actually tidy up the eye a little bit so it looks very nice now i'm going to come in with some a little bit of white scars i'm going to brush it onto a bit of tissue and i'm going to just gently give this too much let me give this a little brush down and get his little pouch as well you may think I've done this a bit too much but so there's a layer of paint so it will dull itself down and then give you a warm leather effect and here we have it very very nice 
there, there's a pewter seal, like I said, on the gun here. Now I've painted it the dub of Lothurn Blue. Some people say, well, why did you um, why did you paint your pewter seals with Lothurn Blue? Some models, some spacing models, have the pewter seals on this side of the model. So when I put the corn red on, if I was putting the red on the purity seal, it wouldn't stand out as much. Now, that really stands out in his gun, as you can see. So, it's going to a joy to paint. I say thank you to everyone who voted. And if you vote for saying it didn't win, don't panic guys, because everything has to be painted. Any comments or anything about this model, check on below as always guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it's because YouTube shared this video with more and more people, which makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. So until next time, guys, thank you all for voting. Hit the buttons for me. Take it easy.